Okay, today we're going to be looking at testing graphite. Okay, I have bought this product before, and the purity levels of it have dropped. So, I'm going to show you how to test the purity levels of graphite because so far, you know, Generals has the highest conductivity, um, but the company, I think, went out of business. So we're kind of left with, you know, this, or there's a couple other graphites, um, and I did order a couple more to test, but I'm, I'm showing you how to test, okay? And if you have watched this video and you have test graphite, please share the results below with the product name and the conductivity level of the product. That way, you know, like, we can all benefit from the fact that, you know, like, there's many people out there and we can all, you might have graphite and you can test it out as an electroformer. So I'm, I'm going to show you this. This is Generals, and what I'm going to do is just take some of this. Scrub the crap out of it on a piece of paper. And this is just standard copy paper. And make yourself a nice little blot. Keep scrubbing. And you know you have it because you you can start seeing it shine. Do not breathe that, by the way. Okay, and then pound up the brush really good. Really good. Because you don't want it to. And if you're, so this is the Fasco epoxy. And you notice the Fasco, I really didn't have to scrub it in that much. And it does shine. But not being able to scrub it in that much means that the hardness level is a little lower. Um, probably because of an additive. And it even says it on the thing, additive filler. But um, that varies between batches. So here's an ohm meter, yeah? or a multimeter. Now, I have, see how that little symbol, ohm, okay, the little horseshoe upside down, so we got all these other ports, but I want to use that port. Also, I want to use the button, ohm. By, by the way, this SparkFun 70C is like one of the best meters I've ever run across, I use it all the time. I do definitely support them. All right, so, General's Graphite. And I would get the same distance between the leads too. So. So about a half inch, 9K. Okay, over here. About a half inch, thirty-six k. Now that might not seem like much, but really that's quite a lot. Eight k. Again, just test it out a couple times. Twenty-five k. If you want to be super exact. You can like, you know, measure out two points. 
125k. Look at that variation. Like over here, I'm always getting, you know, between 8 to 12. And this one I'm getting like all over the board. So I've noticed the plating time is greatly reduced on it too between batches of what I've used to use with Fasco. So that's how you test your graphite powder. It's really simple and it will save you a ton of time of beating your head up against the wall thinking that you have made the perfect graphite paint. In the truth, it's, it's not you and your mixture, it's the variation of the product. So be wary of that. Okay, so I wanted to give you some additional information just to be very helpful, okay? Because, you know, like, I've had a lot of people I've seen on Facebook and they, they complain about graphite or their paint, okay? So, and I keep covering this topic, but maybe if I show you the comparative thing, like, let's take an actual product, measure it. Like, this is dry. Okay, now copper is about 0.5 ohms. General's graphite is about 9k ohms, with, and that's testing a one half inch. And that's just something I usually just do, is just test one half inch. Slow, um, this is the FASCO stuff. It falls within this range right here, and it's variable. You know what I mean? It's like goes, it goes all over the board. Now, once you hit about 100K to 500K, you'll find that your piece will plate, but it is slow as dog, okay? So if you are having trouble with your paint, check your graphite purity, and if it varies so much between products, we just have to find a better, you know, product line. Now, let's say you have a piece that's already painted with your product. How do I test that? Well, you take your own meter, just like I showed you before. Again, choose, you know, like something as a, a, a measurement always. So I'll say one half inch. This is 2K. So this will plate very fast. This is like super fast area right in this area. This is actually Sherry Hobbs formula um, for conductive paint. Now I need to make really large batches for uh, what I'm doing, but that's that's really good. You know, it's falling in that area right there. Sherry Hobbs formula. Here we go. That stuff. It's really good for like little plastic miniatures because it captures the detail. And it's not, uh, it, it doesn't have any kind of additive that melts plastic. So this is really good for like little plastic minis. If you use Mod Podge, it's within, you know, like this area. Good stuff. But yeah, once you start getting into this, it starts getting really slow. So test your product before you throw it in your bath and you can almost like predict how long it's gonna take to actually like plate. All right, so that, my friends, is a way of seeing, you know, like your slow versus fast and testing a product that's already dry to see you know where it's at on the scale and again if you have another out there and you want to test it maybe you have an ohm meter 
Uh, yeah, throw it in the comments below. Yeah, have a good one.